All right, the market pushing higher right now, but uh, still on pace for its third down week in a row. Yet the spike uh, bears signs uh, around these global economies. You know, maybe it's not all doom and gloom. The Economist of all publications writes in its cover editorial uh, that this global recession fear is not reality. On that note, I want to bring in uh, uh, Bonson Group CIO, David Bonson. He's also the author of The Case for Dividend Growth. You know, I'm always shocked when, it, when I agree with The Economist. Yeah. <laughs> But where do you feel like, you know, listen, I know it's, it's great. And I think the general media picks up recession, recession, recession. I just don't see it right now. You don't see it right now because it's not there right now. And I think that there is a w- real basic principle that we'll use, the cost of capital versus return on capital. Companies can make more money right now to be doing projects, to be trying to grow, than it's costing them. That delta is important. When that reverses, you have a recession. It's happened over and over again. Right now, I think the Fed is trying to drive cost of capital down, but we need businesses to be generating return on invested capital. I'm not going to lie and pretend the trade war is not a threat. I'm not going to say there's no concern. And the bond market has told us there are disinflationary forces out there, but they are more global than domestic. And people have been getting it wrong for 10 years, whether or not Europe and Japan are going to tip the U.S. over. The trade war concerns me, but we are not in a recession right now. But you say when you say disinflation, is there any concern about deflation? Well, I I view the two as sort of cousins. Okay, because the reason I bring that up, David, is yesterday we had Empire State and Philly Fed. Mm -hmm. Prices paid plunging. Yeah. It's been plunging since early last year. Now, when the trade war began, we were told those prices would go through the roof, that it would increase the, you know, so that, and, and, and of course, the Fed has sort of hinted at being worried about deflation a little bit. Yeah, uh, deflation is what they should be worried about. All central bankers fundamentally in their DNA are more worried about deflation than inflation. They kind of like inflation. They're starting to admit that, by the way. They just don't know how to create inflation. But listen, the the idea that a trade war was inflationary was bad economics to begin with. It is deflationary because at some point, uh, compression of global trade takes away demand, pushes prices down. You don't want less trade. You want more trade if it's productive and growth or in 10 seconds, uh, you did any, you do any buying this week? We did. We were buying on weakness some positions that we already fundamentally liked and we got lower prices. We had done some trimming in July, some great dividend names, but, you know, McDonald's and some of those right. had gotten a little expensive. We did a little trimming. Now we're buying on weakness other names. Well, thanks a lot. Wish we had more time for